rest though I don't back down Leave your heart laying on the ground Tell me who, who to kill it now Tell me who, who to kill it now Hello my stars and galaxies Welcome back to my channel The Universe Tarot Or if you are new to my channel Welcome to my channel The Universe Tarot Okay Um Today is about Scorpio Scorpio is all about you So about Scorpios today Now Make sure you guys like the video Subscribe if you have not already subscribed Trust me you guys will not regret it you know, you guys will not regret it. You guys will love me and be tired of me at the same time. Make sure you guys like the video and share to your friends and family. You know, if it don't resonate with you, maybe it could resonate with them. You know, and the cycle will just continue, okay? Then hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, right? You know, just show me some love. Show me some love, 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 love. Anyway. Um, bop, bop, bop. This isn't going to be a half an hour one because I do need to get ready for bed. Um, so it's just gonna be like a good 15 minutes, you know? So yeah, just wanted you guys to know that, um, let you guys know that. And then we're gonna go ahead and say, um, personal reading prices, okay? Personal reading prices, right? It's, uh, $15 on Cash App and $20 on PayPal for a one-question reading. And how the one-question reading works, um, basically, it, I draw three cards to answer your one question, you know, and it's usually like less than five minutes. So I usually, it's usually so short, I can just email it to you and make it a quicker process rather than sending you a link. But you know, if it's too long, I'll still send you the link to watch it, okay? And for the 10 minute reading, um, it's 25 on Cash App and 30 on PayPal. For a 20 minute personal reading, it's 40 on Cash App and 45 on PayPal. And then for a 30 minute, it's 50 on Cash App and 55 on PayPal, okay? So you guys know that you know membership is available on my channel as well the starlight package $2.99 the galaxy package $4.99 and the universe package $9.99 a month okay now the thing with the universe package you know you guys get five dollars knocked off your very first personal reading you know so you guys don't have to worry about paying full price on your first personal reading so i'm just letting you guys know that now um but do not, oh, for the personal reading prices, please do not send money unless we have confirmed your appointment, like unless we have texted over the phone and whatever to, to confirm your appointment. Please do not send money unless we have confirmed your appointment because I don't want to get confused with somebody else's appointment, you know what I'm saying? Because one time, you know, somebody sent me money for a 10-minute reading, and you know, I already had an appointment set with somebody else who had a 30-minute reading, you know, so when the, money pay, when the payment came, I was like, oh, okay, I see your payment. However, I only saw that you only paid 25 when your 30-minute reading, no, wait, yeah, yeah, your 30-minute reading was $50, but you only sent 25 And the person's just like, what? I didn't send 25 I didn't even send anything yet. You know, I'm, I'm getting my money together now, but I didn't send anything yet. But, and I'm just like, what? So what is this $25 for? I was so confused for like two hours before that person messaged me like, hey, I wanted a 10-minute reading. And I'm just like, where the hell did you send me money and you didn't even talk to me? You know, what if I change my number and I was going to be like, hey, guys, I changed my number. The number that's in the description box is wrong. I'm going to change it now. Like, oh, okay. So, yeah. Or what if I was like, hey, my cash app is sabotaged, but don't worry, guys. I got a new one. Here's a new one. Like, oh, my goodness gracious. That's why you guys got to, you know, just be careful, okay? I don't want anyone to get in trouble, and I don't want to get in trouble either. So, um, that's basically it. You know, we went through the prices. We went through the membership prices, Okay. Went through the reading prices. Um, donations are appreciated as well. Show me some love. Pre donations, even a dollar is appreciated. You know? So, yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the reading. You know? But, again, donations are appreciated. Hope everyone's having a good morning, noon, and night. I hope all is well. But if all is not well, I do apologize. Hopefully your situation will get better. Everybody, yeah, hopefully my reading will help your situation get better. But either way, I do hope it gets better, okay? So Aries, you guys got the, hold on, you guys can't see it. You guys got the Ace of Swords in the reverse, okay? Right? You, you feel unmotivated, okay? 
You're not, you're not jumping on top of things. You need, you're unmotivated. You feel lazy or lousy. You feel like you're not on the right path. You feel like you're not on the track of where you need to be. Okay. So therefore you'll feel unmotivated. You know, you feel kind of useless or worthless. You don't feel like doing much. You don't feel like doing anything. You don't even feel like going outside. Okay. So you, you could, because you feel like you're not in the right place, you feel kind of lazy, right? Like you don't want to do anything, right? You got the Eight of Cups. With the Eight of Cups, I'm seeing here and you're, you're in a bad way, okay? You're very, you feel very isolated. You feel very lonely. You feel like you're in trouble. You feel like you, the whole world's against you, okay? Oh, my neck finally popped. Oh my God, it felt so good. It wasn't loud or anything like that, but I felt it pop and, 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 you know, I had that crick in my neck for the longest time, so I'm finally glad it popped. But anyway, um, yeah, you feel isolated. You feel like the whole world's against you. You feel like it's stacked up on top of you. You know, you feel like, you know, no one's really trying to hear how you feel or you feel like no one's really reaching out to see how you're doing or how you're feeling or anything like that. And you feel like there is nothing else you can do. Okay, so you kind of feel like you're in the slow, like it's kind of, you're kind of in the self-loathing mode. Okay. You guys got the two of cups in the reverse. Wow, things just couldn't get any rougher. You lost your partner. Okay. You lost your partner because somebody left in the two of cups in the reverse. Somebody left. Somebody abandoned the relationship. Okay. Now, whether you left them or they left you, it still hurt at the end of the day. All right, you feel alone. You felt bad. You felt like what is going on i'm trying my best i'm doing my best i'm trying to just live life i'm trying to do my own thing but things keep going wrong All right so you feel very very what's the word i'm looking for you feel very stressed out like you feel very anxious and you feel very lonely okay because you're trying to get your life together you know you're trying to build that motivation you're trying to build yourself up but it's not working Okay, so you feel like you feel that negativity starting to rise again. Right? The hanged man in the reverse. You feel like your 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 head's in the clouds, okay? So maybe your heads are in the clouds. You know, maybe you know that's just your escape. Right? Just daydream or focus on uh, on uh, imaginary reality. You know, they they say your head's in the clouds or you're not focusing on what you need to be doing, which is kind of sort of true. But at the same time, there's a reason behind everything. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to take a sip of this. <clears throat> that was more of a sip. That was a drink, but I don't care. <sighs> okay. So, yeah. You've been feeling very overwhelmed and now you feel like you know just like doing like running away somewhere hoping maybe your life will be somewhere better somewhere else right so your head is kind of like in the clouds because you're imagining a life somewhere else how life would be if you didn't maybe if you didn't live in like the country that you're living in now how would it be if you were living here or how it would it be like if you did something different either way they you like you're just imagining what life would be like if you were in a different scenario Okay, and you just want to be in that different life. Like maybe you want you wish you were born rich. Like you're reminiscing on what isn't okay and what you wish it was. Okay, right. So the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Okay, you can't like you're smart. Right, you are smart. It's just that you can't find a foundation. You're having a hard time finding a foundation. You know, you're having a hard time just like trying to get on your feet okay just like with the hangman in the reverse you're having a hard time getting on your feet right you're you know your feet are stuck in the air you know just like your brain is you know you're, you're you feel like like you like you don't know what to do okay now at this point in time you that's when you would really feel like, like you feel like you need advice okay at that point at that time at that point in time that's when you feel like you would need advice from somebody that you trust from somebody you you know you you would don't question you know you know because they have unlimited knowledge you know you can there's never a time where you haven't trusted them before and etc cetera, etc cetera. you know so that's the time where you really go to somebody you know you can trust or talk to or turn to and then you know you know they could help you out okay you just got to give it a try all right the five of swords 
Okay. I don't know why I wanted to say the five of swords in the reverse. I don't know why. But anyway, with the five of swords in the reverse, okay, there's a disagreement, okay? There's a disagreement, okay? Not endless conflict, a disagreement. There's um, you two, maybe you or somebody else are not seeing um, eye to eye. You guys are not on the same page. You guys are not on the same understanding, right? So it's causing a little conflict, a little stirring, and a little disagreement, okay? Right? You know, but the thing with disagreements, it's not that anyone's trying to disrespect each other. It's just that the two people or more just do not share the same views. Like, everyone is not going to agree with you, okay? Not everyone is going to agree with you, and everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But the thing is, when opinions clash, that's when disagreements start start and debates start, okay? Now, you probably understand the other person's view, or you understand the situation, right? But you still need to figure out a way how to get yourself on track. That's the only thing you're worried about. The three of hearts, I mean, the three of hearts, the three of swords in the reverse, you know. Sometimes it just gets me that big heart in the middle. But yeah, the three of swords in the reverse, okay. You're trying to heal, right. You're trying to heal from emotional pain, okay. You're trying to heal from emotional pain. You're trying to forget um, the, emo the emotional hurt or emotional pain that you felt in the past. You're trying to get past it. You're trying to get through it. You're trying to make your heart and soul heal, okay? Even though that is easier said than done, that's not really something that happens overnight. It is, it is possible, okay? It is possible, right? You just gotta keep. You just gotta work on it. You, know, you just gotta keep going. You just gotta keep trying. You just gotta keep keep uh, trying to achieve everything that you want in life. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on others who've helped you. Right. You gotta stay loyal to, and humble to yourself. Okay. Because at the end of the day, you're your own worst enemy. Okay. But you become you become friends with your enemy when you start to love yourself. Okay. So if you're your only worst enemy, like, you know, like you get in your head a lot and you start insulting yourself and stuff like that. Like, oh my God, I'm so useless and I can't do this. I can't do that. Cut that nonsense out right now. Be like, listen, negative me. You ain't going to get me today. You know, and clap them out like, get out. Right. And then show yourself some love. Love yourself. Okay. So even if you've been through pain throughout your life, you know, well, the last thing you need to do is just love yourself. Okay, time to love yourself and show yourself to you, show yourself some respect. Okay, the Empress. Okay, that's what I like. The Empress. Okay, so with the Empress card, right, you're starting to cook up a little something, something. Okay, right, you're starting to, you finally found a foundation. Okay, you know, you don't have it all set up in concrete yet, but with the Empress card, you are starting to build up a little foundation. You are starting to try to get your life on track. You're trying to get it um the way it needs to be or the way it needs to look you're trying to get it the way you're, where it needs to be like you're trying to get it to where it'll make you happy and you make you comfortable okay that's the good thing about it it will make you happy and comfortable you'll be happy about your achievements and you'll be happy that you did it on your own okay so all that negative talk all that struggling it was worth it minus the negative talk the negative talk don't negative talk yourself stop it the four of swords Okay, so with the four of swords, okay, it's good that you're getting back on your feet. It's good that you're, you know, restoring your mental health or your emotional health or your mental health, right? Or even physical health, right? It's good that you're restoring all of that, right? But what's very important is that you don't overdo it, okay? It's good that you're working and putting in the work and stuff like that. But keep in mind not to overdo it yourself, okay? Don't overdo yourself, you know, because you just started doing your thing. You just started putting in moves, right? Don't burn yourself out so quick, okay? They always say the brightest light burns out the soonest. So please, please be careful. Don't do anything extra. You know, just really just take care of yourself. Take your time and let things happen on its own. And our last card says the fool in the reverse. Why? The, why? I'm starting to see you. I'm starting to see why. Oh my goodness gracious, why does this always happen? So, the reason why you are having such a hard time, right, is because somebody was practicing spell work on you, okay? They were experimenting, right? Now, the reason, now, now unless you were, now, unless 
it was like them experimenting on their own, right? You, all these bad things wouldn't be happening to you, okay? But because they got a professional to do voodoo and shit on you, that's why all these things started to fall apart by dominoes, okay? But here's the important thing, though, Aries. Oh, sorry, excuse me, not Aries, Scorpio. Here's the important thing, Scorpio, right? Karma noticed that they were doing wrong shit, right? So they were like, oh my god, you're really using your power to do this to that person and all they're trying to do is live their life, right? No. <sighs> Protection, okay? I was a little late trying to catch all this, right? But, you know, I'm going to get it. I'm going to help them. I'm going to risk. I'm going to, you know, and I'm not instant. I'm not instant karma sometimes, but trust me, I will get that person back, okay? So, yeah, this is good. With the full card in reverse, they were doing witchcraft and spellcraft and dark arts on you, right? But karma, all right, or divine power turned it around, okay? Once they, once, once it started getting out of control or once it was starting to mess with your mental health and stuff like that, right? Once it was, you know, because your energy was dying, right? So, so you know, some higher power or somebody who was looking after you and looking over you, they swooped in, knocked out the dark shit, okay? So that's why. So it ended up ba falling back on them eventually, okay? Bet you the next time you see that person, they're going to have all their teeth fall out, okay? But what? I, <laughs> hey, send me pictures if it does, okay? <laughs> so Scorpio, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had enlightenment, you know, got got whatever you needed to hear, right? But if it did not resonate with you, I do apologize. Hopefully next series reading will. In the meantime, though, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload from my upload, all right? This has been the universe, Terry. Namaste.